We're going to hook up the CW5000 water chiller to the Boss Laser 3655. On the back of your machine is where you find all of the inlets and outlets. So here's your water in, water out, air assist in, and the chiller signal. So the chiller signal, water in and water out, all hook up to the water chiller. We'll hook up our tubes. Make sure you got the tube worked all the way on to the barbed fitting. And we'll hook up the water inlet to the water outlet on the chiller because it'll pump water out into the in. And I'll hook up the water out and hook up the inlet. Lastly, we'll hook up the chiller signal wire and this is what communicates between the laser and the water chiller. Other end goes to the chiller. Lastly, the power cord. Now we'll fill it up with distilled water. About a gallon and a half of water and you'll start to see it on the measure. We'll plug it in and turn it on. Now you should see it pumping through the laser tube. There it is. We're gonna keep this pumping until all those water air bubbles are out. Everything's filled up with water in the laser tube and the chiller just kicked on, which means it's starting to cool that water that's running through the tube. We'll turn on the laser. All right, and we don't have the evacuation system set up yet. This is just a few test cuts to make sure everything works, so it's Quite smoky. With the chiller all hooked up and it cooling the laser tube, it's been working great. I've been doing some test cuts here and the the tube seems to be working great. The It's keeping cool. There's a little temperature meter up here. It stays at about 50 degrees. It's not, it's, it's in the winter here. So the room itself is a little chillier. So the chiller doesn't have to kick on quite as much, but once you start cutting for a little bit, then it'll start to kick on and start to cool it down a little more.